Breasted uh, soup by my guy Brian Alexander Bespoke, you feel me? He got me right, got red on red on the guts, red on the uh, hanky. And then I, I came with uh, the Christian Louboutins. No Louboutins, man, what you got going on? Oh, you on the sleeve? Yeah. I got my name on the sleeve, I got to show it to you. It's like little details, man. I'm blessed, man. <laughs> Mikeo, talk about this year. It seems like Georgia's not getting as much attention this offseason because of Texas and OU. Yeah. How is that different for you guys? Man, that's perfectly fine. Like, uh, we, don't really, we, we don't really focus on the media and the attention we get. We just go ahead and do what we do, man. We just go ahead and the standard is standard, the process is the process, and we go in and, and complete our process. Malachi said you brought your Xbox to try and play the NCAA game, but yeah. it didn't work. What happened? I did, man. I wanted to play it so bad last night. I tried to connect to the Wi-Fi, but it wasn't working. So I, I'm... That's because all of us are here. <laughs> yeah, <we> all... <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the rating? your rating on NCAA, and what do you think about it? Yeah, I'm 93. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm high. That's crazy. Yeah. Can you talk about what the gauntlet of the SEC schedule is like week to week in yes. Fort Texas and Oklahoma joining it? What's to be expected there? Oh yeah, we got we got a nice schedule this year. This is why you come to Georgia to play in these big time prime time games. You feel me? And I, I can't wait to I can't wait to play this game this year. I can't really I can't I'm sorry. I can't wait to start first with Clemson on August thirty first. But we got a great schedule this year. So the, the two new programs that are showing confidence, everybody's asking like how good is Oklahoma gonna be and how good is Texas gonna be. That's kind of a like, general question. What are some principles that have to be in place within a program? to make it successful in the SEC? Our, our DNA traits, toughness, composure, resilience. Like, I feel like, I, we got, I feel like those, those are the most three. Is that something that, that it's, it's more important that you guys as a team own that or that the coaching staff tries to instill that? Well, no, you got to own it as a team and as a player. Like, because the coaches, they can coach, but you're the one not there on the play, on, on the field making the play, so. You have to own it in the locker room. What is it? I guess what is it? Can you just speak to physically what it takes to play on the defensive line in the SEC? We have? Yeah, we can. We got. You have to be physical. You have to be tough. You got to be composed. You got to be resilient. Uh, like I said, go back to our DNA tracing. Though, yeah, that's what we that's what we lean on. It seems like just yesterday, you and Malachi were playing as true freshmen in that Oregon game. What seems like time flies and it's a quick turnaround. Now you guys are two of the three representatives for your team at SEC Media Days. What's that quick turnaround been like, and has your role changed in the defensive line room because you're a leader and everybody looks up to you now? Uh, that's a great question. Man, it's been a crazy turnaround. I kind of think about it all the time, like how fast time is flowing. And uh, my, my role has changed a little bit. Like, uh, I do I do get, like, different looks now because I'm the old guy in the room. Like, so young guys look to me for guidance and as the vet. And I, and, I, and I respect it, and I like that, and I take that role on fully. So, so yeah, that's, that's a great way to great, great question. And speaking of those young guys, who are some of the guys that you're excited about that are vibing in the locker room and improving during spring and summer practice? Really, our whole freshman class, especially in the D-line room. Like, we got some guys that's going to that's gonna come in and be able to contribute early. Like, we got some really – if you pay attention to the uh, spring game, you probably notice a couple guys. Like, we got, a, we got some guys that can come in and play. And the three of you guys here are all being projected as first-round picks. How special would that be? Uh, it's, it's extremely special. I feel like we do the things we're supposed to do, and we come in and play our ball game. We can, it, can, it can very well happen. And that's not really our focus right now. We're kind of focus on cleansing and, and getting to that. But that's that's great. That the that high. How motivating is that for you? Uh, mm, that's for sure. <laughs> How motivating is that for you to just know that you have a shot at even being? It's motivating. It's motivating for sure. But uh, that's not really my focus right now. Though. Focus August thirty first. What are your thoughts on going to Austin, Texas and playing the Longhorns? I can't wait. And Coach Smart said that he, you guys have been studying Nike and one of the mantras that he's been telling y'all when you're studying them is assume nothing. What does that mean personally to you? Uh, kind of exactly what it says, assume nothing. You, you got you to gotta work for everything you're going to get. You can't assume you're going to get anything just, just based off what we did the previous years or based off what we did coming into the year. Like, we have to work for everything we're going to get. There's some talk behind the scenes that this Georgia offensive line could be the best in the Kirby Smart era. Mm -hmm. You go against those guys every day. What do you and the depth? Like six, seven guys will play multiple years in the NFL. What have you seen from that offensive line? And do you agree with that? I do. I do. I feel like our offensive line is uber talented. I feel like we got the potential to be the best, the best offensive line in the country. It's up to those guys to go in week in, week out, and prove that. Who do you go up against 